Tampa. I've got some mail that has come in since I've been gone, so I figure open up and show you guys what is happening. Um, a few of them seems like my uh, girlfriend's family opened up a little bit for me just to check stuff out, but um, let's uh, let's open some of the stuff and see what uh, what we got here. And pull out. Aha! So the first one here. This is my Spectra. Keyshawn Johnson Championship gear um, Bucks card that I got. I've been eyeing for one of these for a little while and I finally got a hold of one. So this one's 44 of 75. I don't know what the, um, the parallel version of the set out of 75, if it's silver or, or black or whatever it was, but there's a couple of these definitely online. They only made one of uh, Keyshawn, there's a bunch of different versions. Hopefully I can pick up a few of them to put the Bucks PC and hopefully Panini does it next year and we'll have a ton of Bucks stuff other than just Brady stuff, but I thought that would be, that's a fun little piece to add to it from our Super Bowl in uh, 2003, um, 2002 uh, season to, to check out. So a fun little uh, PC card there for sure. Okay, then we got this from Collectibles. And they, uh, they stuck their thing right to the envelope, which is cool. Office chair package contained a bobcat. Would not buy again. Don't ship a bobcat. Don't want that. I feel like I've seen that before. Maybe a lot from this guy before. Um, this was a card is cool. I've collected a lot of uh, Panini Mosaic this year. You know, trying to work on my Kelly Rainbow and everything. But I hadn't seen any of these uh, inserts. I don't know which version I found. But this is the Mike Allstott Overdrive. Uh, mosaic that I thought was cool. Just another cool Bucks card. I had to have, I had to have the shoulder pads. Um, just a real, real fun uh, uh, prism. Again, I haven't pulled any of these myself, and I saw somebody post, I think, the Dalvin Cook one, and I was like, I gotta have one of those, and then I saw they got all stop one, so I picked up an all stop there, and um, thought, let's add that to the collection. All right, our next one. Pull this out here. Oh, this one I'm really excited for. This is a 22 uh, karat gold photo card, unique, genuine 22 karat gold trading card with a color photo section and 22 karat gold facsimile signature highlighting Kim Jr. and the Seattle Mariners and the 1997 All Star Game. Limited edition of 2500 individually numbered. I, uh, I saw this, uh, somebody posted one on Instagram, I think, and I was like, I have to get one of those. Those look so cool. So um, I, I I picked one up at a good price and I thought let's do it. So it even comes with your little certificate of authenticity that is genuine. That's really 22 karat gold. And look at it. So here's the back and it's 311 of 2,500. So yeah, I thought 311 was good because the band. And that is so cool. So you have Griffey off the all-star game. I think this was the Fenway one. Possibly, I don't recognize that red dugout, but that's from there. But top vote getter, 1997 All-Star Game, Cleveland High. Okay, so this is a Cleveland there. Um, but that photo, I think, is from Fenway, I believe. It could be Jacobs, but I think it's Fenway. Um, but what a cool 24 karat gold card to uh, add to the collection. How neat. How neat. And I don't know if it comes out of the plastic or if you're supposed to leave it, but... I think I'll probably just leave it just to keep the integrity of the uh, the gold there so I don't touch it. But how awesome is this piece? It's uh, definitely going to be one of my more favorite cards for sure. Um, put that back in there. 
How sweet. Add them up. Okay. Then we have this package. This one be from Tops. Forget what I've got. Tops. Oh, but I think it's the um Yeah. Sealed up in there. Yeah, it's gonna be the uh, Blake Jameson Week One set. Ooh, put a little extra bubble wrap on there. That's nice. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I didn't know if I was gonna get any of these, but the Week One checklist seemed pretty cool, so I figured I would uh, let's tag that. So it includes thirteen cards, quite all fifty-two. This is the only one I bought. I didn't, I didn't keep going with it. Um, I maybe could have and probably should have, but I love that it was the 51 tops design there. And like I said, the checklist intrigued me on the on the first ones there too. So let's uh, let's open and see what we get in our package. Celebrating 70 years. Some black foam inside. Here they are on a little smaller than your average card. They're like playing card style. So, all right, you get Mike Trout. And there's the back, so it's like a playing card design. 2021, Mike Trout. You get a Willie Mays, Duke Schneider, Babe Ruth, Cal Ripken, Javi Baez, stolen base, Greg Maddox out, so it's like a a series there. Albert Pulos, George Brett, Jordan Alvarez, Wade Boggs, Juan Soto, and Tom Seaver. Number 13. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So fun. Cool. Those are. It's a neat little setup in our little silver guys there, so I'll have to find something fun to put in, but that's cool. That is definitely unique. Unique addition to the collection. All right, let's open this one. This one's cool because he has bucks on his uh, sticker. Tampa Bay Buccaneers baby. So this is definitely going to be a Bucks thing. I'm pretty sure. Let's open up and find out what we got. Ooh, yeah. This is our Mike Evans Jumbo Relic from 2015 Topps Valor Football. Boom. Look at that. In a one touch. 101, 13 of 99. I thought, how cool of a card is that? The huge patch and Mike there on the front. I love that. That's so dope. Oh man, that's so cool. Getting a 13 of 99 too, how cool. Yeah, not for any specific game, but a fun Tops football, because Tops doesn't have a ton of football, so it's neat that it gets that stuff from a couple years ago, but it's authentic. Authentic memorabilia. How sweet is that? That's awesome. Okay. Now let's open this little envelope. Nope. Got something laminated in there. The envelope was kinda kinda effed up on that sign, but let's uh check it out. Yeah, with Mike, I wish he had a little bigger run. I mean he got a lot of penalties called against him. There was a lot of Tyron Matthew going at him, but Oh, cool. <laughs> they put a little uh, stampy sticker. 
on it. I don't know if that's good or bad or yeah, it's gonna be not fun to get that off later, but I thought this was cool to add to my Griffey um, Topps Chrome, the Big Red Machine with Joe Morgan, Griffey, Barry Larkin, and Johnny Bench. That was a really cool card. Like I said, I've been adding some more Top Topps Chrome Griffeys lately to put on. I thought that card looked so cool. Having all of them and the fun little chrome etching in the background. So cool. I'll have to get that stamp thingy off there, but that's definitely a neat card. Okay, let's do, let's see, we got three left. So we got this guy here. So amazing. He put some, it's like tissue paper. No, just, and this one, oh, look at this. The father and son. Tops card. This one was from 2016, but I I I saw a good price on this, so I figured uh, I would uh, I'd snag this up for the uh, the Griffey collection. The little father and son, Ken and Ken, left left, Nora, Pennsylvania. So cool. Such a kind of cool throwback card to have, you know, Ken's dad on the on with his card and then one of the Griffey cards there from that season. Very, very cool. So I've got to get those stickers off there too. This one here. Make sure it's out of the way. Cardboarded up. Boom! All right, we couldn't yet get a Tom Brady in Bucks gear in a red, um, a fusion red for our fusion collection. So I figured I'd grab this one at a good price if it wants to come out of there. It is. Very stubborn. This is like a one and done case. Oh, I got it out of there. Um, but right for the Super Bowl, I, I purchased it so I could have kind of the header with all of my um, my bucks. Uh, but this is the the um, gold reactive, so red and gold um, Brady in the Bucks Uni to go with all of my. Uh, my Red Fusion uh, bucks that I have. Hopefully I'll get the Red Fusion sometime, but the pricing in Brady has just gone through the roof since before the, when they got the Super Bowl and then after they won now, his cards are, are kind of crazy. But just another fun Bucks brady card to kind of be the header, the, the captain to uh, um, all those guys in that setup. All right, then I got one more from Tops here. Let's go ahead and see what this one has. Says given. Top. This is tops now. So tops now, of course, probably a lot of familiar aren't, but they do like cards like on the spot, like a guy gets traded or whatever, or they do like, um, you know, current current social climate things or anything that's happening. They they make a card of of uh, anything that's happening. Super currently. So they have like a tops now and they, you know, set it up to what they're going to make. And then once they're, um, once they've sold what they were, they print however many they sold. So I figured to pick up a couple of these that I thought were, what were fun. So here's a little, little case and you can see who's there on the front. But I thought it'd be fun to pick up, uh, pick up some, some of these. We got Bernie Sanders. We got a few of them just to have a hang on to. I thought it was, such a cool, cool card to uh, to have. I mean, so iconic now. And we got J-Lo. We got one J-Lo. Look at it. It's got the fun, the tops printing there on the background. The, the Bernie, the Bernies have that too. Yeah, so that's kind of a neat, like, 
piece they add on to them. But yeah, grabbed a couple of Bernies and we got J-Lo on, on a baseball card. How cool is that? So definitely some fun, fun top stuff. Well, that is all my stuff for right now. I've got some other stuff coming. Um, but until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what uh, what I got that you liked the most and, um, and leave some feedback. All right. Hope everyone has a great day.